Now, even though Android is the most beloved operating system on the planet, as for the numbers, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best operating system out there. And even though Android 4.4 KitKat is probably one of the best iterations we've seen yet, again, there are a lot of things that should be fixed. So I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are the top five wishes we have for Android as a platform in 2014. Number five is better battery and storage options. Probably one of the biggest deals with Android is that it's always hit or miss. Sometimes you get a phone with expandable storage and no replaceable battery or terrible battery life, or the other way around, or even in the cases where these are expandable, you don't get really reliable service. Or sometimes you get a software update and this cripples the battery or something goes wrong. This is probably one of the biggest deals with Android, the fact that OEMs have to tinker the operating system, and it doesn't necessarily abide to the standards that guarantee good user experiences. This is something that we really need we need a standard like for example hey expandable batteries or expandable storage think about the fact that you have a smartphone that's capable of playing great games and watching movies but the fact that you can't really expand it to take advantage of that because the battery will die after the first flick Number four is better tablets. Finally, until this year, we see some decent tablets from Samsung, but then every other OEM hasn't really figured it out. Asus is doing a good job with some tablets, not all of them. And then we get other tablet OEMs like Acer that do terrible jobs with tablets and people actually pay for these. The biggest problem is that people out there don't know, and this is really killing the reputation of the OEM. The fact that a lot of the Samsung tablets aren't available everywhere, the ones that are good at least, and then we have the iPad that's just doing everything right, even if it's not better better than these tablets. Again, we need better tablets, a better UI, probably not the flick down thing we have on tablets right now, or the buttons where they are. It used to be great on Honeycomb, at least when it worked well, which wasn't really all the time. But again, the Honeycomb UI wasn't really that bad. You should probably consider it again. Number three is better standards for accessories, and this is one of the biggest issues. If you want to buy an iPhone case, you'll see flocks of iPhone cases out there. If you want to buy an iPhone charger, you see flocks of iPhone chargers, and you see other accessories. You don't really see this trend with Android products, and the reason why is because there is a big diversity of Android products out there. And then there are problems here, like for example, not every Android phone has NFC. Not every Android phone includes a lot of the things that some other Android phones that are good include. So this is one of the biggest issues with Android. The lack of standards. You see this with Windows Phone, you see this with iOS. So I'm sure that there should be a way for Google to standardize certain things that will allow us to be able to buy better accessories again. Number two is we need more Moto X's just better. And yeah, I'm actually using a specific phone for this and the reason why is because the Moto X is a very interesting concept. First of all, it's a customizable phone, but forget about the customization. This is a phone that's not too big, not too small, that feels great in the hand, that's not really that powerful on paper, but that performs great. You get immediate software updates from Android and you get things that actually make it unique, like for example, the way you could call Google Now, which is great, or Motorola Assist. These are really unique features that are actually useful. The biggest problem with Android is this bloat of features that people don't really use use. And again, the cool thing about the Moto X is that everything about this phone is actually cool. We just wish that the camera was better. But again, there is a lot of room here to grow when it comes to Android. The fact that we need more reliable features from better phones, because the problem is that obviously the Moto X hasn't really become as popular as it should be. But again, I know you get my point. There are a lot of things that could be learned from the Moto X, especially the customization. And finally, the top number one thing that we wish would improve for Android in 2014 is software updates. They need to figure out a better strategy. We've been talking about this this year, last year, the year before, and they haven't figured it out. The biggest problem is that everything is left to OEMs, and this is really not fair. Google should take more responsibility. Figure out a way to separate the whole Android operating system from the whole UI of the OEM in a way for software updates to be immediate for these phones. I mean, KitKat was designed to work on lesser phones, and yet the HTC one X is not getting it, and Google can't do anything about it for you because they didn't sell you the phone HTC did. We hate the fact that iOS works on the iPhone 4. It's a phone for four years ago, and right now the HTC One X can't get the software update. Again, Google should figure out a way to improve their software update strategy somehow. And that really leads me to the question of this top five. What would you wish would change for Android in 2014? What is your wish list? In my particular case, honestly, software updates is the biggest deal. We get modular phones, but we can't really figure out software, huh? Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? 
That's it for our top five. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next top five.